everyone welcome back to my channel lovely to have you here again today it is really early in the morning so i'm trying to be quiet um because the rest of the house is still asleep <laughs> um would like to take this opportunity to say hello and a very warm welcome to all my new subscribers i have received quite a few of you uh, lately and i'm very very honored that you've chosen to join my channel so a very warm welcome to you all and of course to everybody who have had um follow me and support me for all this time from the start um, and along the way a very warm welcome to you guys too and thank you again for choosing to spend a little time with me just to craft along so let me show you what we're going to be looking at today um i've done a little page layout today um and i hope that you're going to enjoy it um i was really inspired yesterday um with a kit from calico collage um and the kit's um called shabby florals and i just loved it because of the flowers and of course the thing that got me was all the butterflies and they are just beautiful butterflies in this kit and i'll show you some of the pages in a moment now um what i've done is i have used a, a die that i noticed um when i bought my gateway die when i did the inspired by carmen video um, and I'll show you that die and the details of that later. But of course, for this project, you don't have to use a die. You could, I will talk that through as we go along, but it was just really easy. And I love what, um, this die and, and the possibilities that I can use it for. So let me show you what I've made. So this is the page layout. I've put it onto a piece of, um, coffee stain paper. So this would go straight into the journal. Um, and I love these colors. This is just so me. So forgive me here. Um, it's just all the butterflies, the colors, just everything. I just loved. I try to incorporate different textures, layering, um, 3D dimensional, dimensional tape in here just to lift things. So I'm, and my usual wildflower die cuts that I love so much. So what I've done is I've made a little tie to keep it together um which i quite like from the paper i've put in two of those larger um eyelets and i've used a piece of um seam binding here just to close that up so if i talk about the rest of the cover first this beautiful butterfly and these aqua tones i just love it i even cut out the feelers antenna really but you know i like feelers better um all these bits come from the kit they are absolutely stunning the kit has loads of ephemera and lots of words and numbers little labels beautiful um pages some you can write on some for visual you know just a really great combination and i've just embellished it in my own way so here we have this little envelope um envelope listen to me I'm, I'm brainwashed no it's not it's just a little um card so we undo that as our closure um just take that out and you can open that up and then that releases everything below it so this just keeps it nice and flat i've just put on two little paper flowers here sewn on some buttons um, little labels from the kit put on some of my uh, Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts which I love layered up these pieces from the kit and this is the actual die um, that I've used here so let me show you what that is and then I um, hope you can see that this is a studio light you can see over there essentials cutting die that's what it looks like this is this is um, how it looks in totality and if I just turn this over and tell you that its number is stencil SL116 that's the actual code for this all right now I know that this is often a problem um, for people in America I got this it's not available really in the UK I think it's from um, Holland and I did get this from um, Holland I imported it yeah, NL. So it is from the Netherlands. So that's where you're going to get that from. Um, 
but I really love the possibilities with this and I had great fun playing around with it this week. So that's the die. Um, and then what I did was, after decorating that all up, um, I opened it up like this and I've just made a little pocket here. Um, I've embellished it with one of those little words with dream. Then I've just used some of these beautiful pieces of ephemera in the kit. Now on the back I've just printed, um, you can see here, just like a coffee stained um, print. And people always ask me, so I'll tell you, I printed this on 250 GSM uh, paper uh, cardstock. And that equates to 90 pound in weight if you're in the Americas. All right, so that's what I've done there. And that's another one of the pages from the kit. These are all from the kit. So that just fits into the back there. Isn't that just a beautiful image? I just love that. So there are gorgeous images in there. And then on this side and this side of the die, I've got a little envelope which I made. Uh, here's another little label I've laid onto a piece of fabric. Um, we open that up like that. And I've just stuck in two pieces of ephemera into that little envelope there. Like that. Those go in there. Um, and then I, this is the other side of that die. Now, as I was saying, you don't need to use that die. You could just cut this um, in a square yourself um, and then another piece and use your bone folder down the middle. I know that um, Jean was saying to me um, that she used her cropper doll and made little holes um, and to create this sort of perforated image you could do that there are many ways you but you don't have to have that if you just um, score that line and maybe put a couple of holes in there it would work just with scoring so um, you know this is just um, what I quite liked it was lovely because it gives you the um, smaller bits here so that you can actually easily have the um, the bits that fit in just away from the edge of the paper so it was really easy to do but of course it's not a necessity so this is one of the pieces of paper from the kit and I've cut that out there and I've made that into a pocket over here as you can see so I've used standard craft paper I've embossed it um, I've put on some more little flowers little labels um, just to give a bit of a difference in texture and these again are the beautiful images that you see in that kit all right so those all tuck in here so let's just put that in there like that I'm enjoying using my embossing folders which I've had some scrapbooking days and um, it was nice just to get out some things that I don't use so much. So this is a little folder um, envelope and that um, goes folds over like that. And then that bit's going to fold over like that. Um, oh, I forgot to say, I've just laid up one of the pieces of ephemera which I've embossed and put over here. And I'll talk you through that um, and decorated it up here. I've laid a, another page below just to and stitched around that, um, which goes onto my tea stain piece of paper. So that's everything that I've done there. Not difficult, um, but I'll talk you through it um, and we can do it together. So let's just um, tie this back up. I quite like this closure because it keeps it all flat and just adds a little bit of interest. Um, so something a little bit different for me. I don't, I'm sure this is not unique, <laughs> but it was quite fun making it. All right, so I'm going to put this just to the side for a moment. Uh, where do I want to put that? I'll put that over there for the minute. And then let's just have a look at some of the pages and things. So you're going to need um, your journal page. So this is going to be my tea stain page that I'm going to use. And I'm going to make it all onto this page here. And that then would go straight into my journal. So you'll need one of those. Um, 
And then some of the pages that I have used are, um, this is the one that I used to make the envelope. Isn't that beautiful? I love these colors. So that's one of them. Then we're going to use, um, this is a lot of lined pages with various elements that you can uh, form part of the kit with different colors and things. Uh, this piece here I use for um, the inside pocket on the base of that template. Um, and not this one, but a very similar one with the purples go at the top. Um, one of the other pages in that kit as well. That'll be your base page, so over here. Um, then I have this one, which needs to go this way. This will be the front, and I'm going to use a piece right over here, here, um, to go onto the front of the project. And then this is... Um, a piece and I used this piece over here with the lettering and the mauves and the greens so that's just some of the pages that I'm going to use today so it's really very pretty okay so first you want to grab your um, tea stain your pet your journal page that might be coffee stand or plain or whatever you're going to use so that's the start um, let me just put these pages aside here quickly so I can see what I'm doing and then what I um, did was I used that die to cut out this piece of, of this shape with that die but onto 300 gram card stock all right so that's really thick cards or well, fairly thick card stock here um, so you're looking probably about a hundred um, pound weight or yeah thereabouts Okay, so as I said, you could just cut out one big rectangle. Um, and let me, I don't have my inch ruler here, but I'll give you some measurements of this um, on my board here. You're looking at, it's five inches wide by five inches. And this piece here, or uh, 12 and a half centimeters by 12 and a half, and that would be the same 12 and a half here. And the width of this piece here is two and a half inches or six centimeters. So that's six centimeters. That's 12 and a half, 12 and a half or five inches, five inches, two and a half. All right. So that's in case you wanted to know, because someone will ask me that. All right. So let's start with this piece over here. Um, and I'm going to fold this straight away. And of course, I've left my bone folder, so we'll use the scissors. Um, and I just want to fold this, line up the sides. Um, and I just want to run my scissors. So that's how it's going to be in my actual, on my journal page like that. And that's important to know because if you go and decorate there, that's the side you're going to stick down. So it's good to know that. And trust me, I did make that mistake <laughs> you see that's why it's good to make a, a, a test a test run first okay so then taking that green piece of paper which I showed you earlier so this one over here I have taken um, the die and cut out a piece over here um, and that's what I'm going to use for the very front of my um, project so that's going to stick down just like that over here so let's do that quickly oh the weather today is looking like winter I'm not moaning you know I don't want to be one of those people that always moan and talk about the weather I seem to tell you lots about our weather um, but I'm just happy that, you know, it's not a force of nature that's causing major, major damage or anything. So we are all blessed. We've got rain, we've got water, we've got nut sunshine, we've got a mix of everything. So that's all good. Okay, so now I just want to get this. And this glue always makes me nervous because you really only have one shot at this. I just want to line that up as best I can make sure that I've got it how I want it and there we have it 
so that's all done there we go so that's that one there and then we're going to tackle the back now the back over here i cut out a piece from the other movie one which i'm looking for um so i've taken a piece out over here and I used this side for the other one. So that's what I've done there. Um, and I've inked that up already and I'm going to just put that over there like that. Okay, so let's do that quickly. I've just got my, um, I've had a tough month this month. Um, not with anything terrible, uh, just lots going on um so all good my daughter's going back to college um, and she's doing a beauty course which is lovely so i get um lots of pedicures manicures and everything else <laughs> so that's a blessing isn't it as so i have to be the guinea pig so that's good but yes, it does cost a fortune to send children to college. Uniform, kit, oh my goodness. Anyway, all sorted now. Right, so we've got that bit on there. And then this little bit here, as I said, I've taken the piece um, from this piece of paper just on the side here. Um, and I have cut that out and that is going to... Um, just fit nicely on the end over there so yeah I'm still in my PJs as you can see my Minnie Mouse PJs still today it is early I've just had a coffee and done the, uh, the standard get ready in the morning thing but I haven't got changed <laughs> too early um so yeah isn't it just wonderful to be in your pjs i'm even gonna even work in my pjs <laughs> oh no one's gonna see me are they so why not oh my goodness right so there we have it we've got that bit stuck down nicely so that side's all ready to go just about all right, so I'm going to um, stick on this little pocket and everything, and then we can finish up with this inner piece. Um, so what I did there was, uh, this is one of the pieces of ephemera in the kit, and it's just beautiful with these color combinations. I've inked that up, and I'm going to just uh, glue on those three sides there, like that not too close to the edge right i say that and then i go and squeeze glue out into windows and all sorts <laughs> oh my days right so we've got that there that's our little pocket easy done easily done and then i know that i um is that a bit skew no, it's not now right better and then what I did was you get a beautiful um, collection of, and this is just some of the ones uh, that I've cut out to use today, um, these beautiful little labels. So I'm going to use the dream one now on here, and then we'll use those in a little bit. And I'm going to stick that on over here just to add something to it. So... There we go. I'll stick that over here. There we go. All right, so that's all sorted there. Um, I did put a few bits and bobs on here, but I'll get to that when I, uh, I want to stick it down first before I do that. All right, so we've got pretty much a lot of that done. Um, and we'll get to the rest of that as we progress. The only thing I will stick on is another little label, which is the sparkling, which I love. I love the font on that. Um, and I'm going to stick that down. 
try and get as many of the flat bits down as possible and then I'll stick all the other bits on um, afterwards so I'm going to just stick that about there uh, yeah there we go so that's that um, the others are more layered up so we'll get to that in a minute so there's the first little bit I'll put that over there now when it comes to these bits over here I took um, the piece that we cut let me get it um, this piece here, I cut out a large piece here, I think it was this side here, um, for the envelope. And the envelope, um, when I get to it, I'll give you those dimensions. But there was this large strip, I think this there was a piece left over here. And that's what I've used to cut out the little tabs that um, I've used to wrap around here like that. So what I did was, and this paper I printed out on um, 120 gram. So I think that was um, 120 GSM, which I think is 35 uh, weight. And I will double check that. Just look in the window above here. Right, so what I've done is I've printed that. Um, I've cut that out, sorry. I'll, I'll give you the dimensions. And I, it's double-sided, so it's twice as thick to make it sturdy. Um, and the measurements for this are, let's see. They are two inches, so an inch there and an inch there. So you're looking at five centimeters. And it doesn't really matter about the length. The length is um, three, nearly three inches or seven, seven centimeters, so just short to three inches. I'm going to just use it because a part of that will be glued underneath just to attach it. So the way, how I got that little round shape there was actually with my art glitter glue. I cut out the strip. I put it on the end like that. I'm trying to bend it so you can see. And then I just took my pencil and drew around the end and cut it off. It was just what was on the table and I thought, ah, oh, that's the perfect shape. So there you go. All right, so use the tools <laughs> around us. So there, I've got two of those. I've folded them in half and I'm gonna glue them together. So we'll do that quickly. And if you're using thin paper, you can always stick another piece of scrap in the middle just to bulk it up and make it more sturdy. So that's an idea as well. Okay, so we've got that one there. So you want two of these. So we'll punch those in a little minute after that's dried nicely. So we've got that ready. Okay, so what I did then was I, we're going to start putting some of these bits together. Um, let's have a look at the envelope. So the envelope, as I said to you, um, I cut this. It is three, uh, three inches by four inches. All right, so that is seven and a half by ten centimeters. Um, and I have used my envelope maker, but this is you don't need to do that. Um, you can just cut it out from a square. You can see it's pretty much a square. These have been notched out here, um, but that you can easily just cut out. So I folded this together like that. Um, I have, um, okay, so that's gonna go like that. Am I right? No, <laughs> I keep getting it wrong. This flap here is the bit that's gonna tuck underneath this bit here. I have stenciled a little bit on that side, if you see, uh, just to take away some of the white. You're not going to see that bit, but you are going to see a little bit there. It's not a crisis. All right, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, um, put some glue on and just seal those sides up there like that. And the one flap is just going to be um, the bit that's going to tuck underneath now you could just use a normal envelope and just stick a picture on the front you could do that as well so you don't have to go and make one if you've got an envelope that's pretty much the size you want to use use it and just stick a picture on the front and maybe the back as well there's nothing wrong with that okay so we have got that sorted 
Um, and what we're going to do is I've got a piece of cardstock here. I've embossed it um, with one of my embosses just to give it a little bit of excitement. I've inked around the edges. The size for this is just short of four inches. So it's five by uh, about three and three quarter. Um, so in centimeters, that is 13 centimeters by nine. All right, so that's just a piece of card that I've used. And as I said, just emboss that. And my envelope is going to um, fit around here. So I'm going to just centralize that on either side here. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna um, stick it down. Now don't make it right against because then you don't have any room for it to lie flat and lift properly so just bear that in mind okay so i'm just going to stick that down um, and i've got it stuck down here so they can see it's slightly away if you can see that um, and that just means it's going to lie flat and open like that okay so we've got that bit done um, and then i took this is one of the um, pieces from the ephemera kit um, and you can see I've embossed it. Now it looks like it's got this old gold look but it's not old gold. All I did was I took, and I'm not going to press it on here because I've already done it, I took my Tim Holtz antique linen after I embossed it um, which is a very light shade and all I did was I took the ink pad like that and I just lightly rubbed it over the embossed area and it gave it this old gold look so that was two holds antique linen all right so you can see it's got like an old gold look there and it's just given it some dimension and this i don't even know what this embossing fold is called i've had it for 15 years <laughs> it's just there and it hasn't got a name on i checked so um that's one of the pieces there and we're going to use that in our layering all right, so let's get started with the layering. You've got your page um, like that. And the first thing we're going to do is, in fact, um, take one of these pages I showed you earlier. And I've just cut it to, uh, I've torn the edges to, to just fit slightly inside um, the page here like that. So I'm going to stick that down. But before I do that, um, we need to position these um, further down. Uh, so what I did was, it was quite a tricky business. Um, so the easiest way I can suggest is, is to glue the top half of your page and come back later to finish off the bottom when you've positioned the, this tab on this side. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick the top, uh, glue the top half down. So this part's loose. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Let's position some of these things. So we want to take this bit that we've um, altered slightly and um, I wanted to get it uh, just below that bit of the butterfly there because that's, I tried all sorts of things, but this is, how, I, what, how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do that just like that. All right, um, and you can stick this down completely. So we'll do that. I want to thank you all while I'm doing this here for the wonderful comments and encouragement and support you guys give me. I'm really so blown away. Um, head over heels, over the moon. I'm thrilled that you're enjoying all the videos and just thank you ever so much for your kind words. It's just lovely to read. Thank you guys. Um, I so appreciate it. It's so kind of you all. And I don't say it enough, I think, but it it is so lovely to receive such happy um people thought people are happy they've they've got things to do that are positive it uplifts them mentally it just makes my day so you warm my heart you do all of you 
Right, so we've got that one stuck down there. Um, I'm going to take this little bit of ephemera. Isn't that just beautiful? I just love those colors. Um, it's just a nice little bit of brighter pink there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that um, just at the top there like that. And that's going to make this, lift this uh, design completely. So I had other things here. I was messing around with all sorts yesterday, playing around, and I ended up deciding this is the one. So there we go. So we're just going to stick that over there like that make sure i've got it straight um so there we go it's coming together beautifully and then one of the little words that are in that pack are, is my favorite be kind be kind it's the new black so we're going to stick that down and being kind um wonderful um happy emails from people who have received racks from people they don't even know on just the most gorgeous things you've all been so generous oh just amazing i feel like merry christmas <laughs> right so we've got that all sorted it's coming together beautifully what we want to do now is stick down this bit here so i'm going to position that um pretty much like this over here um, and we can go ahead and stick that down because our tab thing will be going um, over that. So that's all right. We'll be going underneath this, this bit here, not this bit here. Right, so we can stick that down. Yeah, I've had the most wonderful responses and photos and happy people filled with joy people whose days have been made people who've had going through tough times and spirits have been lifted smiles on people's faces it's just amazing so thank you everyone you've really um done a fantastic job of that and i'm so happy that everybody's happy we need more happy in the world <laughs> definitely all right, so that's looking good. Now we do have this flap open here and we want to start getting um, these two tabs stuck down before we can go any further. So what we want to do is, first of all, let's put on our little, move that up there. We want to put on our little eyelets and I've used the larger ones. So I've got two of these, which are the, we are memory keepers, I think. Something like that. And we want to just position that there. Now, let's hope I've got a pencil. More things I brought downstairs. I don't think I've got a pencil, so we'll have to have a pen. But I'm just going to gauge it here. There's the one. Okay, so that's done. Now what we want to do is um, we want to fold these. Now, um, if I bring back my original one here, you can see I need one that's slightly shorter. So we're looking at, let me just fold it first before I um, tell you. So one that's shorter, is that right? Pretty much. Okay, so one I needed uh, one and a half inches long or three and three quarter centimeters there. We're going to glue that bit underneath. That's our holding bit. And then the other one, uh, four and a half centimeters or uh, one and three quarter inches. So that's what we've got there. So you've got one like that and one slightly shorter. Now the shorter one's going to go on this side. Um, and then the other one will go on the other. So what we want to do is, and this is the, the most tricky bit here, is lining these two up. So I'm going to, um, I want to just get that right there. And I'll tell you how far up I did it. Let's just move that down a bit. Okay, so I'm positioning it there like that. So from there to there is five centimeters, and that's where I've, I've positioned that one. 
Um, so let's just make sure that's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to, um, I'm going to make a little mark here with my pen, just so I know I've got to cover that section. And now I'm going to put glue on both sides here. Well, this side first. Just to attach it underneath here. Um, make sure I'm not going to just make sure I've got it in there. Yeah, and now before I go any further, I'm just going to turn that whole thing over and put some more glue on the underside here now. So that'll keep it in place because it's glued on both sides. Push that down, that's all in place. So I'm happy with that. That's nice and straight. Yes. Okay, so that's so far so good. Right, now what we want to do is we want to, let's <laughs> move that back up there again. Let's go back to this one here um, and we want to stick this one on as well. So this is where it comes becomes again a little bit tricky because you want to um, position this and line it up with this one. So you want to position that about there. Is that right? That's about where I had it because I'm trying to keep it um, as close to uh, this as well so yeah so trying to keep it centralized there this is slightly off um, and I'm also trying to move it over slightly so this is where your pencil will come into play and then with that you want to um, put this on we're going to stick this to the underneath of this piece here so what I did was I put it on and then I took my ruler to line it up and of course I don't have my ruler here so I'm just going to take anything straight um, and I'm going to put it on my board let's move that lined up there and then if I have that like that that is as straight as I think I can get it so that means this needs to come down a bit like that so that's how I did that but with the ruler it's easier all right so again just take your pencil make a tiny dot so you know where to stick it and um, again I can see it's on the brown line there so I'm not going to use my pen so I'm going to lift that up again I'm going to put some glue on this side here and then I can there's my little mark so that's gonna go there you want to close it so you know it's lying flat there we go so we've got that in place okay right so we can now stick this down now the only place to stick this down because this is going to be a pocket is there there and there on the underside so we are going to hold that like that I'm going to put glue over here and you could use double-sided tape um, glue along here over there and to the top like that okay so let's just put a little bit more on this side here okay so we can flip that over like that um, and it is fiddly and we want to get that down like that make sure it's straight
<laughs> this is the worst bit, everyone. Okay, so I think I've got it right there. Let me just rub this glue off my hands quickly so that I don't stick to the page. Right, um, and then just hold it down for a bit. And then that'll, that's the worst bit over. I found that to be quite um, challenging, but I worked around it and eventually found a way. So there we go. So we've got our little things that match up nicely. Just use a pencil if you're not sure. You can always rub a pencil out. And I did use a pencil on that one to work it out initially. Okay, so you've got those in place. You can open those up. And um, we've got that stuck down nicely. Like that. Okay, so let's just start now and put some of these goodies together. Right, so I'm just going to remember what I did here. Right, let's just move that over to the side. Okay, so what we want to do first of all is I had a little label, um, this little one here. Um, and I'm going to just stick that down over there like that because um, this is now a pocket uh, we can just take our envelope and put that on top so that can just come up like that so i'm going to just stick that down quickly and then <laughs> i've used a couple of flowers in here and i love those little paper flowers um so that's what we're going to to use now so what i did was i used a little green one um those little paper flowers and i've turned one upside down and i've sewn a little button on there it's a, a to tortoise shell a mother of pearl vintage button and then a mother of pearl, a vintage little lilac button over there so i'm just going to i turned one the right way and one the under way just to give it a bit of difference um, and I'm going to just stick those down without going over the edge um, over here like that. Okay, so we'll stick this one down. Okay, so there's that bit done. And then all we want to do is put the bits and pieces um, from the kit. So it's the, this beautiful image. Um, this lovely one with a lovely font. Um, I did take this image, but I did trim it down. Um, it was slightly another inch or so longer. Um, so I needed to trim that down so it could fit in there. Um, and then I have just put these other little bits in here. So, all right, something like that. So those go in there. And then the two little bits that go in here were these little bits that are really pretty as well. Um, and I've just put those into this little envelope over here like that. Okay. Um, now on the top of this envelope, all I did was I took um, this little label and I did um, use a little bit of, sorry for my hand, um, I did take a little bit of this um, Liberty of London fabric and I just uh, took a little bit of it like that. Okay, and then I just stuck that on there. So let's just stick this down first. Just, I've just dotted, this is very thin fabric, so I just stuck that down like that first. And then I just put the little label on top of it. And this is ever so cute label. Right, so you've just got a little bit of fabric peeking out there like that. Okay, so that's that. And then uh, we've got a couple of cards that go in here. So th these are beautiful. Love that. And my favorite is that one. So those just go in here. So I've just got this 
there, this there, this there, and this there. All right, so the insides are pretty much done. So we can close that up and we can finish off the top now. All right, so what I did here was, um, first thing I'm gonna do is stick down my die cut. So I had three die cuts in three different colors, bringing in the colors that are uh, in this kit. So I've got, they're all from the Wildflower kits and I've got three of them. So um, I've got one that's gonna go over here, um, like that. Then I have got this little one in like a lilac -y pink, which I'm gonna put over here. And then I've got this one in a peach color, which I'm going to stick down over there like that. So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, everyone. So that's what we've got for the little wild flowers. And then again, I've taken um, two of these paper flowers. I've sewn a little bit of tatting on there, little scraps that I have in my pack. So I've got one that's on the peachy pink one. And then um, one that's another little flower button that, that I was lying in my box and I just took that out and I've sewn that on a cream one so I'm going to put this one down first and I just get these flowers I think I got these off eBay long ago um, so it wasn't any specific brand or anything really reasonable so it's just paper flowers really um, and then that goes over there like that. Okay, so we're looking good. Um, nearly there. So we've got all of that in place. All that's left to do is this little bit over here. So what I did here was, I'm just going to move that out the way slightly. Um, I used dimensional tape for this. So um, if you remember, I'm using this Artina um, tape. I'm, I needed um, a thicker one. I'm going to just show you how I did this. So I will speed this up. All right, so... We have our three bits here and you can trim them um, and put them on as you want. Now this is um, what I'm going to do and this is going to stick over here. But what you want to do is you want something to lap over slightly. You can, um, and that's why I look at it like this. I want to cut off a little bit here. Um, so I'm just going to lift that up a bit. Is very forgiving stuff this I must say I'm just gonna take off a bit like that so I will be able to lap it over all right so let's get our things in line so let's start off with the butterfly I think this first so again use your pencil I know I want to have something there and I want to have it there so I've got my little marks they will be covered, but they're just going to give me an indication of where I want to stick this because once this is down on paper, it's down. So I wanted to have it just like that. And I think that's about right. So we've got our first one down. Now, once I've got that down, it's pretty easy to see. I want the butterfly, but again, I'm going to just lift this up a bit and take off a piece here just to lap it over and I've got lots of little bits on here but that's fine um I'll get those all off right last one I, I do like this tape I quite like the way it adds another dimension right so we want to put that just lapping touching there ever so lightly and I don't want it too high so that looks about right for me I'm happy with that there we go. We can just take a little bit of glue and um, lift up the one and just stick that down there. So that's great. And then this little one, we're going to position just over there like that. Um, and I've cut away the little section and then just take that off. 
put a little bit of glue there um, and now we can position that where we want it so I think that's where we're gonna have it all right so we've got that all done that as well right so you want your piece of ribbon so we are just going to thread that through that eyelet there and through this eyelet here like that bring it together like that okay i hope you guys have enjoyed um watching this with me today i really like putting this together it was lots of fun i love the colors um as i said to you if you're wanting to do exactly what I've done. I've used the Calico Collage Shabby Florals Kit. And I do love it. It's so pretty. It's very me. All right, so there we have it. You could put different color bows in this, of course, as well. That doesn't look very neat, but I'll deal with that afterwards. Okay, so everybody, thank you so much for spending time again with me today. I hope you've enjoyed following along with what I've done. Um, it's been lovely. Um, I love spending time and doing these projects for you. So thank you so much again. Um, if you like what you see, I'd love it if you'd leave me a thumbs up. That would be amazing. Um, and of course, take care of yourselves and, um, and follow along and make one for yourself in the style that you enjoy uh, with the papers that you like to. All right, so I'll be seeing you all very soon in our next video. So I'm going to say love you and leave you. Bye-bye.